So I'm using my freezer staples, frozen mashed potatoes, and frozen peas and carrots to make my freezer fix shepherd's pie. Yep, so I've got my nine by 13 pan here. I've got leftover shredded pork butt from GZ. And I'm sauteing some onions here in my skillet with a little butter and dried sage. It smells Yum. just so warm and nice. You could also use frozen onions. If you have the frozen diced onions, onions. that would work as well. Okay, so I'm gonna add to this some all-purpose flour. And this is just gonna help everything thicken up and make a nice gravy in our shepherd's pie. Now you could totally do this recipe with a store-bought rotisserie chicken shredded up. You could do it with brown ground beef, ground lamb, ground pork, ground chicken. Yeah. You know, you can really just play with it and make it your own. All right, so you just wanna let that flour get nice and brown, take out the flour flavor, and it's gonna help us get nice and thick. And I'm gonna add to it some Dijon mustard. Oh, there we go. Yep, this gives a lot of flavor and it also just gives like a nice texture to your sauce. Now some frozen peas and carrots. All right, so throw those right in. Freezer, oh. Oh. freezer fix. And now I'm gonna add a pantry fix, low sodium chicken stock. I just wanna say that shepherd's pie is bringing me way back because when you work in a French kitchen or a traditional kitchen, you have to make staff meal, a family meal. Yeah. You gotta do it real fast and shepherd's pie was a go-to. Cause it's like everything left That's over, ground up, potatoes <laughs> on top, cheese in the in the oven, and it, it people it feeds. It's got enough. 20, yeah. 30 people. What's your people. favorite cheese for shepherd's pie? It's got. I put Parmesan on it and Swiss. Oh, I put yeah. Mavardi in between the layers. No, really? we didn't go. We I had, had like. Yeah, for I didn't know there was cheese in traditional. Everything else. Sometimes. Was, my, it was anything laying around. That's what you, yeah. have to, you just worked with like Whatever. scraps. <laughs> uh, right. So you just let this you come really to a low it. boil. And it'll start to thicken up. That flour will start to do its magic. And season it with a little salt, oh, yeah. a little bit of pepper. Boom. And then for my other freezer fix, frozen mashed potatoes. They come in a bag, and then you can kind of give them a little extra life by putting some milk and butter in it when you heat them up. Can I fill the bag? I just want to yeah. see, is it a clump, or what's going on? Well, in they're all different. I, you know, I've bought some that are in a, a plastic container, some in a bag, and then you microwave it or heat it up in a skillet. The technology oh, yeah. for freezing becomes, now is okay. so good. They can freeze it so quickly, it doesn't damage the, no. the legume or the vegetable. The legume. <laughs> now I'm gonna add this leftover shredded pork into the skillet. Can I get you as my ringtone just saying legume? Yes, thank you. What? I legume? said legume, he's yeah. just beautiful. He's a, he's, a, he's a wordsmith. And then this will continue to thicken in the heat of the oven. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it into my grease dish. Okay, so you can see how nice oh, and thick and hearty delicious. this looks. Luscious. Doesn't wow. that look great? That's like that. It, it came comes together too. so quickly. It's, it's so a fast. great weeknight meal. Great way to use your leftovers. And then just transfer it right into. Oh, look how the bright those carrots and peas are too. I know. And yeah, you get everything in one bite. Okay, so spread that out. And now those mashed potatoes. I got these nice and creamy with a little extra bit of butter. So basically, we paid milk. for the first dish, right? Mm -hmm. And now this is free. Yeah. So like oh, yeah, feeding. courtesy of your freezer. Yeah. 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 It's kind of amazing. Yeah. It's really a good one. And this is something you could probably eat on for two days as well. Yep. Easy. Spread out those mashed potatoes. And you know, maybe you've had leftover mashed potatoes, you can take those and put them in the freezer. Oh, I've made this bomb. with mashed butternut squash on it. Yay. But the mashed cauliflower that they're selling now is yep. great. Mm. Okay, so a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top, and this just helps it get nice and browned. Yeah. Adds oh. a little extra flavor to oh. it. Mm -hmm. Good stuff Man. here. I'm gonna hit it with just a little Memories. bit of pepper, and mm. then it goes into the oven, 350 degrees. And I've got one. It's like quick it boil in. this too if you want it, right? Because everything's, everything's cooked. cooked. Yeah, I just oh, want everything yeah. to get no. hot. I gotta bubble it. You gotta bubble it? Yeah. You want to bubble the edges right. to bubble. Yeah. But I'm saying if you didn't have the time, you could probably. So it goes into the oven 350 degrees Girl. for 50 to 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. And yeah. comes oh, out like this. Good Lord. It's good looking leftover, 
leftovers, right? Yeah. Leftovers, it doesn't mean that you're taking the stuff out of the refrigerator, putting it in the microwave. Give it a little bit of loving, and you're gonna have something like oh, this. See, so people, good. come on, use your brains. That's why we're I here. I love leftovers. <laughs> we actually love. had some leftovers of my family that we're actually still wondering what the original meal was. <laughs> on me because he says that I make us eat leftovers too much to the point that in our wedding vows, I said that I would never make him eat stuffed peppers again because there was a time that we had them five days in a row. That's too much. And, too and much. he was like, no more. Look at I, that girl. I think three days is the cutoff. Two yeah. is pushing it. Sometimes it's yeah. so good you do want to repeat it yeah. exactly as is. Katie, you can know? we have a slightly larger portion, please? Good yeah, gracious. You know, I mean... Look at that. I always want to go back for seconds. I think the audience is going to want a piece of this, huh? This smells delicious. What do you think, audience? Uh -huh. You eat them. You eat them. That's right. Oh. Not only a real audience, Happens they get a real food. Look in the min window. Get that since, applause since meter. Since you thought they were too big of portions, you and Jeff can share. There we go. Look at this. Just like <laughs> old times. Oh. Can I have some ice with my champagne, please? Here you go, GZ. Here's your portion. No, no, it's fine. This is, sure. this is comfort food, there Katie Lee. This is comfort mm. on 10. You've already got that, that oh. Oh. pulled pork that just percolated and simmered for us. But what I truly do love about this is that, you know, savory brulee feeling of the parm over the top. You kind of cr crunch into it. Great combo. It's not shepherd's pie, but it's shepherd's pie, baby.